Hello YouTube Prepper friends, this is Lee, the Cold War Prepper. I wanted to share with you today some of my experience of uh, food storage over the course of the last 40 or so years. Um, let's start off way back when. My first experience was uh, we had the, the lifeboat rations that we used in our, our cinder block fallout shelters. Uh, God, that stuff tasted like, oh, it was terrible. Uh, then we had a company come along by the name of Mountain House and, and used their stuff when I was at Philmont Scout Ranch in the late 60s. Pretty good stuff. Uh, really recommended. It. it is primarily a meal based, so you're just going to have a pouch. Uh, if you have the individual style, you just add hot water, stir it up, you got a meal. It's fantastic. Uh, it's going to be really great because it doesn't have any odor if you're, if you, uh, are in that situation during that point in a post SHTF environment. Uh, then as we moved on, different things happened. I came across a company called Rainy Day Foods and started buying their products. But in the military, when you move from one post to a next, there's a weight restriction. You can only move so much uh, in, in weight, uh, what we call permanent change of station. And I was exceeding those and having to pay exorbitant amount of money to move all my preps. So the best thing to do was the next time I PCS'd, uh, I gave my preps away to another prepper friend. And then I didn't do any more food storage prepping until uh, after I retired in 1991. Uh, went back with a company called Rainy Day Foods, fantastic company. Um, let me give you a little bit of philosophy and what I really like about Rainy Day Foods. In my opinion, if we look back at uh, the Wild West, if we look back at cattle drives, if we look back at... Uh, uh, history, the vast majority of people ate soups, stews, and chowders. And I think that's probably what we're going to be best doing in the future, uh, should there be a food shortage or anything, any kind of a catastrophe where we do have to rely on limited quantities of food. So that's what I focus on getting. Well, Rainy Day Foods has two of the best soup mixes there are out there, and these are in number 10 cans, uh, and that's the same thing as a three-pound can of, of coffee. They have what they call ABC soup mix, and that is, if you think back to the vegetable soup you had as a kid that had the letters for the for the noodles, the uh, pasta, that's basically that mix. you got to add a little bit of chicken or something into it to make it a, a more hearty meal, but the, all the basics are there for that. Then they also have another one called vegetable soup mix, and it's just a whole bunch of different vegetables, lentils, peas, uh, you name it. It's a, it's a fantastic vegetable soup. I love those. We have cases of them. I think that's going to be our mainstay. Then about uh, 2009, I got involved with two different organizations. Number one, found out about the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and they have their Provident Living Center here in, in the vicinity. And I could drive there once a month and get a case of something. So what I did was I had three staples. I figured that if I got flour, I could make tortillas. If I got a can of instant refried beans, I could make refried beans. And if I got a can of onions, then I could rehydrate some of those onions and have a fantastic bean burrito. And I could live on bean burritos. Uh, just a little bit of salsa, and I think they're fantastic. A little bit of cheese, too. But anyhow, so, so I bought those three, but I always bought a case a month. And so they had several other products, and I would just pick up three. I created a spreadsheet. Whatever I was shortest of, I would pick up. Usually, I concentrate on getting additional um, sugar and rice. But some of the other things that I would pick up from them, uh, apples, carrots, potato flakes, which mashed potatoes, um, Black beans, pinto beans, navy beans, red wheat, white wheat, uh, spaghetti bites, macaroni, milk, sugar, quick oats, regular oats, uh, rice. I mean, wide variety of stuff. Now, because we don't have access as ordinary citizens to that Provident Living Center, you have to order online. I'll put the, the link down below uh, in the comments, and you can go there and order that if you want to. Um... Then I came across a company called Thrive Life, and I order from them on a monthly basis. What I typically get is one of each pro from each category, with the exception of meat uh, proteins. I get one can of meat, and I get one can of uh, instant uh, uh, scrambled eggs. In the dairy area, I get one can of milk, freeze-dried milk, and I get one can of, of cheese. So those are the only two that I had extra on. Um, but I've been with them now for quite a while. Uh, and I'll, I'll leave the link for my link there uh, if you're interested in getting those. Some of the other companies that uh, that I've dealt with in the past that I strongly recommend, and, and I try to get these in alphabetical order, so please don't take this as a uh, 
um, prioritization type of a list, but Mountain House, Mother Earth Products, Emergency Essentials, uh, Freeze-Dried Wholesalers, Future Essentials, Hoosier Hill Farms, Rainy Day Foods, Saratoga Farms, and Thrive Life. Uh, we, we do business with all of those. Just a couple of real quick thoughts. I showed you in, an, in the last video um, something from Mother Earth Products. So what we do is I showed you the Mylar bags. The first time we buy a product uh, from them, we get it in the jar. The jar doesn't have the same uh, lifespan as does the Mylar bag. So what we'll do is we'll use this jar with this name, and then as it empties, we'll open a Mylar bag that has a longer shelf life and pour it into here so that we have a little bit more convenient way of sealing it and, and keeping it available to us. There are two uh, government contractors who provide food to the military, and uh, so we take those. One of them is Future Essentials, and in this case, this is the Mirepoix mix. As I said, that's the basis of most of the Cajun uh, soups and stews and gumbos and stuff like that, which is why I have it. Then another company is called Freeze Dried Wholesalers, and we get a lot of their meats. We have pork chops, meatballs, sirloin steaks, etc. So um, one of the things I want you to be concerned about as I was working on my doctorate in adult learning theory, uh, andragogy, one of the things we learned as we're promoting training programs to executives and organizations is this rule of three. So there's this rule. And I want to share it with you. When you're looking at food supply, when you're looking at buying things, when you're looking at bug out bags or anything else, there are three things you want. You want to have them good, you want to have them cheap, and you want to have them fast. Well, the rule is you can only get two at a time. So if you want it good and cheap, it's not going to take, it, uh, you're not going to get it quick. You're going to have to take some time. If you want it fast and cheap, it's not going to be that good. And if you want it good and fast, it's not going to be that cheap. So keep that in mind. Uh, when we talk about inexpensive and long term, <coughs> in my opinion, the best way to go is canned goods and, and, and um, uh, bulk items. Uh, another advantage of canned goods over uh, freeze-dried foods is the fact that they're already hydrated, so you don't have to store extra water to rehydrate them, and almost all of them are pre-cooked, so you can eat them straight out of the can. You don't have to worry about heating them. But uh, think in the terms of meals. So how can you add this, for example, uh, veg oil? I can't tell you the importance of having a whole bunch of veg oil. That's going to be the basis of a lot of soups. So what can you do with a can of veg oil? What can you do with chili and rice, uh, turkey, uh, chicken a la king and rice, uh, chicken and rice, beans and rice, beans and, and uh, spam? There are so many things out there. Think in the sense of meals. What am I going to do to create a meal and what components do I need to have that meal? So with that, hope you have a wonderful day and have a great weekend. God bless you. Take care.